land mass is pushing this side so one is called greater himalaya this is called lesser himalaya or middle himalaya and this is called shivalics so three parallel ranges evolved up to the distance of length of 4200 km con in continuity three parallel ranges evolved parallel to the tibetan plateau so this is the how it formed it comes closer it comes closer here we have three parallel ranges one two and the three so one two three this is greater himalaya this is lesser himalaya this is outer himalaya or shivalik three ranges evolved how they look like let me construct explain it with another graphical presentation uh, this is one uh, if i construct here this is a pamir plate pamir plate where is pamir plate located it is partly in pakistan occupied kashmir part of india and partly in uh, tajikistan so in central asia so from pamir is a, a, a kind of radial zone it there are the, the different mountain ranges radiated in different directions from pamir can you name all these mountain ranges radiating from the pamir plateau whosoever will let me know i'll give some price maybe 5 paisa coin jo aaj kal nahi milega main dunga ha yes bete which range is this sir kulun shah kulun okay dal hmm dal this is tian shan this is kulun this is karakoram what is your name young man shubham you are very close to your answer and then south of karakoram nada then it is jaskar jaskar then it is himalayas and what is this so this is the one but we are studying so when this plane goes to this side this 1 2 3 4 these are the different ripple marks developed on the earth crust if you look from the space from the thousands of kilometers you will find all these small ripple marks maximum height is 5 km 6 km 7 km from 36000 km it is 6 km is a ripple mark difficult to identify and this is a kind of median mass you can say takla makan plate a desert this is all median mass here it uplifted this is takla makan this is tibetan plate is all is tibetan plate now come over to the himalayan system uh, hmm. suppose i construct a graphical presentation of himalayan system suppose this is the height say msl So I would say average height is six thousand one hundred meter. So if we like suppose the Himalayan system, Himalayan system is a sword shaped system. It is a sword shaped system. It is four thousand two hundred kilometer long. 
composed of sedimentary rocks three sedimentary rocks basically sandstone shale and the limestone Himalayan system is basically composed of these because all the material brought by the rivers from the Tibetan plateau and deposited sand particle by sand particle when all sand get accumulated lithified become hard are known as stone they are known as sandstone so basically it is having sandstone and the shale shale means the the the, the muddy kind of accumulation of material mud becomes lithified so that's why himalayan rocks are very soft very brittle very loose and chemically reactive there because they are full of the limestone you must be knowing they are also having conglomerates conglomerates are the stone within stones i don't know whether you are recognizing this type of relief feature within stones you will find small small conglomerates and pebbles and gravels and different types of nodules found in the within the stones hard rock pura ka pura rock kai baar sadak banate hain kaatte hain oh nodules are there stones debris is deposited and debris become lithified moraines of the uh, glaciers or the till of the glacier or the material transported by glaciers is deposited here <coughs> and that get lithified that material becomes hard usme kuch kuch gol bhi hai kuch fine material bhi hai kuch hard, uh, bigger material mein they become hard rocks they are known as conglomerates are you getting my point what conglomerates are conglomerates are i'll, I'll discuss it briefly so this is uh, uh, one in the western side it is as wide as 400 km 